Hey everyone, if you are watching this video, it means that 2023 is gone. We are now in 2024. And guess what? This year might be finally the year of the Linux desktop. I'm not even kidding, guys. Let's get into it. Okay, okay, okay. I see you coming already and be like, Hey, Max, what are you saying? I thought it was just a recap pro. 2023 and some prediction for 2024. Yes, that's what it is. It's a recap. But I notice that when I make a punchy intro, I have better views. So please stay here and listen to me until the end, okay? And if you are not subscribed, just subscribe now. Please. 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 <laughs> okay, so more seriously, like I, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what type of achievement we made the last year so for 2023 let me tell you it's pretty awesome so i don't know if i'm gonna share the screen there with you guys but the idea is like this channel had had like a crazy crazy uh, growth and you're gonna tell me like hey I'm max we are just as like 6330 subscribers when you are recording this video it's not that big. What well, I'm gonna tell you, dude, this is huge. For me, this is huge. For every content creator, you will see that getting subscriber at this level is actually huge. So I'm really thankful, guys. But I wanted to share this good news with you because most of you obviously knew me from my Twitch days where I was live streaming every day almost. And I was like winning championship. Yeah, 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 yeah. And having fun with you guys. But as you know, like two years ago, I decided to switch totally career and get into like the, uh, the YouTube grind, I would say. And man, it has been hard. I won't lie to you guys. It's been really hard because, you know, going live and talk to you guys is one thing, you know, uh, being like quote unquote good on video game and entertaining which I felt like I was kind of, um, I, I hope I was, please, please, please. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is that creating video is, is way harder than everyone can think. So it took me some time to, to get there and to work on my workflow and, you know, adapt everything. So obviously there is still a ton of work to do, but you know, for a little Frenchie like me, born and raised in France, uh, creating this, you know, like channel and switching from like just gaming, recording gaming and putting it on YouTube to creating actual content and trying to put a value added out there in this crazy world of, of YouTube. Uh, let me tell you, like it was not easy. Anyways, uh, let me talk about the number a little bit. We went for about 237% more view compared to last year's. So guys, thank you for that. This is incredible, but it also shows that works pay off. And I really hope we're gonna continue uh, this level of like growth. I really count on you, you know, to press this little button there, like the notification button, the subscribe button, and let a, a little like comment on all the video you watch or you watched you know, in the past, go back there and leave a comment and whatever to boost the stat and put the algorithm up there. Now, in terms of watch time, we doubled, we doubled the watch time, which is insane. In terms of subscriber, we have a, a crazy stat, which is like plus 411% compared to last year. So let me tell you, this is crazy. This is just crazy. And when you look at the, at the curve, because I'm going to try to see to you guys there, we started kind of slow and now it's getting up and up and up. And you can see there, kind of like when I try like different approach towards YouTube and trying to also like improve my workflow. So if you look at the total number of like videos I made, whether it's live stream or upload on YouTube, this year, I made 60 video and around like 80 live stream, which means that almost one day on two, you would have like every other day, this is how you say it in English, sorry, 
every other day you would have like new content for you guys whether it's a long video you know like a long live stream between like two and eight hours or a short video between like 10 to 30 minutes because some of my tutorials are pretty heavy sorry about that but what can i say i want to go in depth down there but you, you got the idea and for the last i would say like two weeks i started to be able to increase it because I'm a, I'm a level of workflow where I can push a video, whatever like format it is, every working days. And so if I continue like that, I'm going to be able to push around like, uh, like almost a double of video compared to this year. So 2024, we're going to multiply by two at least the number of video, which is awesome. Because from my perspective, just to give you an idea, the more video you create, the harder it is to keep the quality at a certain level. And I think by working and optimizing my workflow behind, I was able to keep the level of quality pretty high, at least for me, <laughs> and continue to just produce, 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 produce. So you will see it on the here, like on the curve it kind of will go higher and higher. And, and I'm pretty sure we're going to go way higher than that in the coming month. So again, it's because of you. And, and I want to thank you for, you know, taking the time of watching and believe in me and also like support me because, you know, I know some of you guys can't really support me financially, but you are still there to leave a little comment or give a thumbs up. And I'm really thankful for that. I'm also really thankful for the one who are supporting me financially because I also know that it's 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 a tough game out there. I want to say, you know, thank you for being there, being a member on YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best and I'm, I'm really thankful for that. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about Linux and gaming in general. So 2023 has been a crazy year. Just, just look at all the video I made, all the game I played. I, I made a list there, but I don't know if I really want to go through the whole list because this video is going to be like 30 minutes long at least. Uh, but I would say like for me, the big advance for 2023 were related to gaming in Linux and how big the advance in general is, is becoming in Linux. So I don't, I don't know if it makes really sense, but... You got the idea. Like one year ago, I was playing Hogwarts Legacy, if I remember, and the game was, was working well. Don't get me wrong, everything was cool. But there were some features, there were some, you know, little details which were not great. But if I launch the game right now with a new version of Proton, with a new version of Kernel, with a new version of my driver, with everything, like, you know, every little advance within Linux, I can tell you the difference is huge. And I think this is also what I wanted to make this video is to, you know, share with you the progress of this channel, but also share with you the progress of Linux gaming, which are kind of like linked, right? Um, I think a lot, a lot, lot of more people, a lot more people, now I can say that, a lot of people are actually realizing that Linux is now a solid contender for gaming. Obviously, it's the reason of the Steam Deck. Maybe it's a little bit because of content creators like me, which are trying to spread the word out there. But man, like it's, it's insane. So some of you guys might arrive in the bot right now and be like, oh, it's good, but it could be better, of course. But what it was like one year ago, or what it was two years ago, or three years ago, I'm telling you, the, the the way it improves is not, is not like a, a linear line. It's more like an exponential line. And we are into the curve of the acceleration. In, in my opinion, we are getting like, you know, faster, but we didn't reach the full speed yet. And I, I'm telling you for being in it like 99.9% .9 of the time, because I don't even use Windows anymore. I, I just reinstalled Windows for streaming Alan Wake 2 to you guys. It's, it's just awesome. Like, it's just incredible. It's just, like, out of your mind. That's the first thing I want to mention toward Linux. The other one is, like, my personal experience with a lot of distro because I've been participating to challenges 
uh, with some of my French buddies out there, and I share the results with you guys in English. I think um, uh, Linux for every distro is also like getting better. I don't want to, you know, uh, put some, um, I would say, some type of like gate in between distro. I think this is uh, the type of like dispute we shouldn't have anymore. Obviously, like more some distro are more bleeding edge. Some of them are like less bleeding edge. But who cares? Because we're at a level that if you if you take one of the most stable Linux distro like Debian, you can play video game as almost as good as an, on Arch. So we are at that point, guys. I don't think years ago we'd have been able to say that. I'm just saying. So this is awesome. And there is so many things I would like to talk about. Like, please, like, let me know in the comment below what kind of, like, shock you in 2023 for Linux in general and gaming. But, yeah, that's, that's what I'm at. Uh, in terms of life experience, I really enjoyed those last, I would say, like, six or seven months because I made a lot of new good friends in different Discord all across the place because of Linux. I had the opportunity to exchange with a lot, lot of, like, nice and really incredible people about Linux, which is awesome. So I don't want to give any name here because I feel like I'm going to forget someone. But I want to thank you guys for, for, you know, being here and exchanges with me. Also, all the viewers, like everybody. It's, it's you know, it's, it's just awesome. So, yeah, that's uh, 2023 for me, guys. Now, let's talk about 2024. So obviously, if you want to watch whatever I went through all the year, just, just go back on my YouTube channel. Look at the live streams, they are all there. Some are unlisted, some are listed for whatever reason, but they are there. If you want to watch some of those videos and see the evolution, you know, when I talk about Wayland, when I talk about NVK, when I talk about the kernel, all those tutorials, when I, I talk about different distro for gaming and stuff, take your time, watch them, you're going to certainly see the evolution there. But now, like if I project myself in 2024, I would say future is going to be great. So before I get there, I want to wish you a happy new year. I want to wish you, you know, like health, happiness, and a lot of joy. Hope, hope you're going to be surrounded with the one you love. Um, so that's, that's what I really wish for, for everyone. Obviously, I'm going to give some wish for Linux because this is a main topic here and gaming too, because... At the end of the day, this channel is about technology, I would say science, but also about gaming. And I would say for Linux, the way I see it, I'm going to do like huge prediction here, like bold prediction. But the way I see it is like 2023, we kind of like open the door for, you know, the newcomer from whatever platform, you know, Apple, Windows, and all, all, every type of gamers to Linux with a Steam Deck and with the fact that now more and more and more games are compatible day one after their release with Linux and they work pretty well. But I think like next year, we're going to arrive at the level where it becomes easier for the gamer to get into Linux. So I'm thinking about Wayland. I'm thinking about improvement of driver, whether they are proprietary or open source. I'm thinking about maybe a new distro. And I'm going to give you some data, okay? Like that, we'll have this discussion together where you're going to tell me like, hey, Air Max, I think that um, we are a little bit early, for example, my prediction about the NVK driver, or you're a little bit late or whatever. So let me know in the comment below. But I would say, listen to me, bolt, bolt one. I would say that the NVK driver are going to be ready before June 2024. My prediction will be um, middle of May, maybe early May 2024. So what does that mean by ready? I mean that it's already almost compliant with Vulkan 1.3. Like they don't have all of them, but it's already there. In my opinion, I tested them like one week ago. There is some work. But I think for the next six months, what we're going to see is like all the work pushed towards the performance. And I'm telling you, dude, <laughs> that's going to be fast. 
faster than we all think. We might have roadblock here and there, but it's gonna go fast. So that's my first prediction. Second prediction is like the market share toward Linux are gonna increase way faster, but it's gonna be at the end of 2024. So I don't think it's gonna be the Linux, the year of the Linux desktop yet. But I think it's gonna be again like this door which is gonna be open over like wider. And the year of the Linux desktop might be 2025, mid-2025, 2025, early 2025. But I see it happening, guys. I see it happening because we are in a phase right now where we need to kind of like deconstruct X11 to move toward Wayland. And it's going to take some time. It's going to be hard. Like, don't, don't get us wrong. Like, I think it's going to be hard. But... The light is at the end of the tunnel. I do believe in Wayland. I don't use it yet for many reasons, but I think the launch of Plasma 6, so KDE Plasma 6, I think it's, it's supposed to be in February, March of 2024, is going to be a big, big step forward. That's, that's my thought, but it won't be finished until, I would say, the end of this year. What could be a crazy push for the year of the Linux desktop is a new distro. And here it's going to be another bold prediction. But my prediction is that if NVK is ready in middle of 2024, we might have a release of SteamOS, like the real SteamOS from Valve, I would say in you know October, November of 2024. So I have no source about that. This is just speculation. I'm totally crazy here. But I think this could be what could push Linux to another level. Because having someone, some company like Valve pushing an operating system like that could be a game changer. And I'm saying that because I have the I have the feeling, and again, it's just my guts which are telling that I have no real fact to back it up, okay? Like, don't get me wrong. I have the feeling that Valve want to be independent from Microsoft, and I believe that this could be their end game in terms of move to deliver a real gaming platform, platform for all the gamers. And the only like block right now, hot block, is NVIDIA. But this is changing really fast, guys. Really, really fast. So yeah, that's my, my bold, bold, bold prediction. Yeah. Um, I have a lot of other subjects I want to talk about. But we are already a lot, lot of time in. And I don't want to, you know, cut this video too much because it's more like a TED Talk between you and I. Let me know in the comment below. Uh, what you think about those prediction and uh, yeah again I, I wish you uh, a happy new year and uh, see you in the next one in 2024 bisous bisous